So I'm back with another review of a car mount phone charger, uh, again from CH Geek, and this is the model RC02. This is a magnetic car mount, so uh, if you got a MagSafe device or some other phone that has a magnetic mount, this is going to be great for that. So let's open the box up, see what's inside, and then later on we'll head out to the car and check it out. Okay, so to start with, you've got your destructions, your USB-C cable, as well as there is a magnetic ring so that if you have a phone that doesn't have a magnetic mount, you can put this on your phone case and it'll mount to this mount. It won't charge, but at least you'll have a way to mount it. So now we'll take a look at the components themselves. Uh, you've got your magnetic mount. You've got your vent mount. And then you've got your dash or your desktop mount. Again, it's got that extendable arm there so you can adjust it. And this adjusts up and down as well. Now, I'm currently using my phone to record this, which is going to mount to this, so we'll go out to the car, we'll get this um, installed in the car, and we'll see how this works in the car, and you'll see how it works with my um, iPhone 13. Okay, so we had a bit of a wardrobe change. It's actually a different day. I'm going to be setting up the RC2, and you'll see a behind-me view. In fact, you might be able to see the other phone right there. Uh, so I'll be setting up the RC2 and then I'll give you my thoughts on it. Okay, so we've got this uh, suction cup here that I think, let's see, let's give this a shot. I think up here would be good. It's a pretty smooth surface. So we'll peel this protective layer off here for the suction cup. It's got this little locking mechanism here. So one of the things that I, I will say is this does not twist. So you kind of have to line it up exactly where you want it. So let's go ahead and put it right there and lock this in. And it feels very firm. And then of course you also have this optional vent clip, which let's see, will this fit in my car? These don't always, uh... okay, so this, ex so, so this extends which is good, it's really good. And it'll go in the middle one here, it looks like. Gotta extend this just a little bit more. It goes out quite far, so that's, that's fully extended. And I can pop this in here, and then I can tighten this down. So here's a here's the problem, is that my, uh, there we go, there we go, we got it. Just gotta kinda get that lined up so that doesn't stay in the waiting so now it's oh it just popped loose Let's try again i'm just trying to kind of shake this to make sure it doesn't pop loose i wonder if so this appears to be adjustable i think it probably i need to make it like that angle right there so that it's not right yeah so that things don't interfere with it okay so it's tightened down it's kind of poking up in the air so let's let's check out the two mounting options here uh, let's go with the vent mount first and i'll pull this off so that's the magsafe one it's not a too bad of a mounting position and then if we provide this with power that's on pretty tight that that's really tight oh but see it just came loose from the vent so i'm not gonna i'm not gonna recommend using the uh, vent here I'm just gonna plug this in right here and there we go it's starting to charge. I can hear the fan running. This has got a little fan to keep your device cool. I can hear that running. It's got a bit of a buzz. I don't know if that is something that would probably, uh, you'd probably get used to that. Let's pop this off here. 
So here's my dash mount. I think this is a much better option. I can tighten this down here and we'll plug this in again. You can see the ring light indicating that it's got power. And then I can slap this right on there. Very solid. Again, I can hear the fan running, which uh, not to make a dumb joke, but I'm not a fan of that. I'll have to try playing around with it in different locations, but this feels pretty sturdy. So that's the CH Geek RC02. Um, it mounts easily. I personally don't recommend using the vent mount. This all feels a little bit too heavy to be on a vent mount, but overall pretty pleased with it. The fan makes a little bit of a noise, but I think once you're driving and the road noise is happening, you're not going to really pay too much attention to that. So I'm John, your Gen X grandpa. This has been a review of the CH Geek RC02. I definitely give it a thumbs up, something that I think I'm probably going to have mounted in my car somewhere uh, at some point deciding. I've got a couple of different options where I'm going to mount this thing. And overall, I think this is a great device for the price. Uh, check out a link in my description if you want to pick this up. And as always, thanks for watching.